Hi, this is Vinny again, and this is the fourth video of Syllabus 7 tutorial. Today, I will be talking about how to print and export files. So, as you can see here, this is a, a score. So, you press File, and you will see the info, but we will be using Printing Lab today. So, first, you see that this is the view like what it will be at when you print it out. So this is the full score. But if you want to print the parts, you can click parts and they'll be coming out, and which will be looking like this. That for violin one, two, viola, and etc. So if you if you want to uh, four copy, like for example, five copy of violin one, then you can just press here and then change the number to five or you want to change it bottom two to six or whatever like you can change the copy here however you couldn't change the paper size or orientation unless you do it here so as you can see viola now is a landscape orientation and if you oh this is too big then you can just use a portrait which would be nicer and also you can print all pages you want or you can you want to print current or you want just a range of the page but when you click this you need to specify like for example one two three or two to four and then there is a scale which for this one it helps you to fit to page to paper which I recommend to use but if you feel this is too small then you can unclick it and then press the one you want, for example, 200, but you wouldn't be able to see it since it was setting in A4 paper and portrayed. So what I would do is I would click fit to page and it would go back again. And also you can add date, timeline, or border on all of these. Like for example, if you add eight date, it would go to down bottom part. And so do the other ones. And when you finish all of these and you feel, oh yeah, I. I know what the amount I want and you need to select here the most important part because you need to know how many copies you want overall so if you press 1 it means that you have a full score 5 copy of violin 1 6 copy of violin 2 and 3 copy of viola and 1 for cello and basses and so when you finish your sparks print and it will be sent to your printer and you can print so now export for export, there are many options for uh, Sibelius 7. First is the audio. So you can make different sounds, but I recommend just stick it with this. And you can choose your file name and which folder you want it to save to. And also the size and the size by bits or and also the duration. And then you can just press export. And same for PDF. For here, you can just select what file you want in folder but it also gives you what kind how like what scores you want you want the parts score only all parts only or just selection of parts for this one you just need to press oh i just want cello or or just one double bass etc and then there's graphic ones which will give you a more graphic file and you can choose setting here like what page you want and a lot of different options and the size obviously and also the file name and where do you want to save it and also you can make it to a web page or you can make it to this one MIDI and also the most the most important one well if you are using a previous version and you're more comfortable with that then you can select the one you use for example Sibelius 6 then you can export it to 6 and then finally you have the menu script paper um, you need to be careful with this one because when you print this one out or you export it it will only be the bar numbers and all the notes in the music will be removed because you will just use it like manually as it just said there and you can keep the title if you don't if you want and also you can name it too and yeah, that's all.